Welcome to the Christian Hardscaper. Today's video is going to be how we excavate for a concrete paver walkway. If you've been watching my videos and haven't yet subscribed, please hit that button for me. It goes a long way for my channel. Here's the walkway we're doing. We're going to excavate this and backfill with uh, three quarter inch stone today. Benny's uh, tearing it up. We're revealing this conduit. They, um, they definitely buried it pretty deep at least, Benny. Now it's just an obstacle to dig around. My assumption is it, there used to be a light post out there on the edge of the driveway before that's probably gone now. And <clears throat> it's probably just a dead wire in the ground, Benny. Yeah, take the whole thing out if they don't need it. I'd love to. I would love to. But we gotta find out where that goes because it did a 90 and it goes straight like this to um, who knows where. You know what I love to do? I love I love seeing what people build walkways on, right? So we got clay and loom. <laughs> clay and loom. And then fabric, but crappy fabric. Then what's that Benny? Two, three inches of stone dust? <laughs> so <clears throat> my assumption on whoever built this probably came in dug the grass up put fabric down leveled off stone dust and Street then and then laid a walkway just underneath the fabric oh my gosh wow look at the amazing base prep <laughs> they even got a brick what is that a wheelbarrow of three quarters they put down <laughs> all set that's well, probably that when it failed cool. dude they had to come in and fix it mm -hmm. <laughs> man you guys out there doing this crap, I'll tell you. I don't know. Do you know, Ben? I don't know. Do you guys something like PG rated we can say <laughs> about them? <laughs> You're keeping us in business. Isn't yeah, it? keeping us in business. Oh. Yeah. We're out here redoing everyone's crap. <laughs> That's pretty much it. We're called the crap redoers. All right, well. This rainy day is just making me want to talk on the camera and not work. Watch Benny work. He's doing a good job. It's almost break time. It's almost break time. Well, I don't know what that two and a half inch conduit's for, but... Gone. Jeez. Yeah, I don't know either. Why? <laughs> All right. We are revealing these conduits, and we come to find out the, uh, the big conduit, the two inch one, is holding a garden hose actually. Probably just to get the garden hose from one side to the other without having to always unroll it. Probably used it to um, water the plants and stuff. But uh, until you know exactly for sure what's up with the conduits, uh, it's always better to use your hand shovel and dig around it, reveal it, make sure there's no surprises before you hop in with the excavator.
guys. I wish I had the okay from customer or somebody that this uh, wire is unused because I'd love to just cut it and get it out of my way. It's really putting a damper on the excavation. But um, until I heard anything like that, I just got to deal with it. So it's about everything I can do with the mini excavator right now. Uh, I got a little uh, pile that I'm going to pick up with the skid steer and load into Pat's truck and then I'm just going to have to come in here and uh, excavate by hand. So fortunately that's just the way it is sometimes. If the uh, wire is still active or something they want to use, we'll just keep it buried and then, I don't know, I'm not sure. But we will get around this obstacle. So I'm going to uh, go grab the skid steer and we'll load Pat up.
right guys great news after I hand dug a whole uh, bucket full of the skid steer I decided to maybe see where the conduit goes and it stopped right there so just like we assumed it's probably an old um, old post or something there light post but uh, we pulled that out I'm assuming it's still connected to the house over there but pulled it out flipped it over and um, this is where the wire was on the other side it's been cut for a long time and not in use for a long time so good news huh Ben that's out of the way See ya. wow Ben's kicking ass over here dude you almost got your window well out huh it's like the race to see who can get theirs done first Pat's still got a little ways to go what are you talking about <laughs> Benny, Benny's showing the efficiency over here that's all right, Pat. You need it for your truck. <laughs> if, if this thing wasn't smashed into the ground, I would have been out 10 minutes ago playing with myself in the truck. <laughs> That's all right, man. You guys are doing good. See? You guys are doing good. Ben, you having fun? No. No. <laughs> he says no. All right. Well, I'm a little happier now that I can just dig the whole thing with the mini. So, I don't care how you feel. <laughs> All right, let's dig.
Keep pulling it. Keep pulling. It's just tearing it in half, but it should be a lot easier now than before. the uh, window well out still need a little touch up um, digging for that but this is all dug out um, roughly my next step is I get to cut these roots off and then um, just kind of rake through the the subgrade and um, get it to where it needs to be Pat's gonna be coming back with three-quarter stone and we're gonna do our usual um, put a thin layer one to two inches of stone on our sub base Compacted a couple of times with our plate compactor. Um, cover it with our geotextile fabric and then backfill with uh, three quarter inch crushed stone. So that's what I'm going to do next is get this ready for when he comes back to dump some stone in it and clean up all these edges, the roots, rake through it, get that window well all set, and uh, keep it moving, guys. <laughs> subgrade subsoil <laughs> sub base sub something but we are completely excavated out waiting for Pat to come back Benny's back with lunch more than just lunch <laughs> a new a new uh new mindset new mindset <laughs> a couple twigs <laughs> uh, that looks good it's, it looks real good <laughs> <laughs> you forgot a word there all right so i haven't uh thrown any measurements out yet but we're probably about 10 to 12 inches deep depending on what area you're in um we got this window well here that we're gonna be putting in which we have a little channel we built that we're gonna fill in with three quarter inch stone so that if any water does get in there it has a place to escape we're going to be putting about four inches of um, stone on top of fabric and then the window well on top of the stone. So whatever water may go down into the window well will flow down into the patio and then all permeate into the ground. So that's ready. This is ready. These are all good. We're just waiting on stone. We're going to have lunch and then we'll, uh, we'll get to the back filling. And um, we're not going to really worry about... Uh, getting really perfect grade or anything with the walkway today. We're just going to spread out whatever we have All right, thank you to everyone who is still with me and watched this whole video I really appreciate the support and I hope you enjoyed the video uh, Make sure you check out these videos and the, the playlist of this uh, whole front walkway install That was our excavation next video is going to be our back filling and screeding the base and then we'll have our laying the pavers and uh, sanding the joints of the patio, or walkway I should say. But again, thank you guys, and if you enjoyed the video, make sure you hit that like and subscribe, and we'll see you in the next video. God bless.